Hey everyone, it's Desi Chang, and today we have the brand new Langley Alpha Globetrotter, as well as the Wandered Provoke 31. Uh, I would have to say these are the two best looking camera backpacks on the market, um, just my opinion. But uh, yeah, so let's take a closer look between the two. Okay, so these two are probably the nicest Instagram-worthy adventure camera backpacks on the market. Yes, there's other ones like Peak Design and the Low Pro Think Tank and all those other ones, um, but I feel like um, from a fashion perspective, uh, these ones are the best looking ones. Um, they're similarly priced, uh, but uh, you know, what are my thoughts between the two? Because most likely you're watching this and you wanna figure out which bag you wanna buy. They each have their pros and cons, and whatever I'm gonna tell you today is based on my own personal opinion, so you might have a completely different opinion, which is totally fine. So um, I'm just gonna give you my opinion. So first off, the Wander Provoke and this one. Actually, I got this bag first, and because I thought it was absolutely amazing. And then I kind of stopped using it because it was just a little bit more tedious and took a little bit more time to open things and get to things. Uh, for me, I use my laptop every single day, uh, multiple times a day. And do I use my camera every day? Mm, probably not. I use it maybe you know a few times a week, a couple times a week, but I access my laptop and my hard drive and my charger every day, multiple times a day. And to get into the laptop compartment and get my hard drive and whatever like that, it's just a little bit more difficult with this bag than it is with this bag. Um, this one, I actually have to open this up and then unzip this. And then there's a Velcro strap, which I have to unstrap and then take it out. And then if I wanted to get my um, accessory pouch with my charger and hard drive and things like that, then I have to undo this loop, unroll this and grab it. Or, I could access it a different way as well. I know you guys, the you know whoever has this bag. Oh, you know you can get get it inside. Well, that means I have to undo the entire bag, and then kind of fish for it right here. Um, so that was a little bit cumbersome, and I just stopped using this bag that much. And instead, I actually started using the Langley Alpha Pro, not this one, the previous version of this one. Uh, and I found that uh, because it's very very similar for me to access my stuff, it was very simple. It was just a snap, snap, and oh, okay, well, laptops right here, take that out. Look, my pouch with accessories right there. Very, very simple. And if I needed to access my camera gear, then I could over here um, or not. So that was the biggest, biggest reason why I'm choosing to use the Langley Alpha Globetrotter as opposed to this. Now there's some big differences between them. So if you're someone who likes to travel a lot and access the camera on the go without setting their camera down, then you know this one's a little bit better because it has a quick access compartment where you can access your camera and grab it on the go. So huge bonus for this one. Another thing I like about the Wandered Provoke is it has, you know, additional straps on the side. So if you wanted to attach like a glide cam, steady cam, a tripod even, it's uh, you can just attach it on the side. For this bag, you have to attach it on the bottom because it doesn't have any straps on the side, which is unfortunate, which is one thing that they could have just simply added in there and it would have been almost the perfect bag, uh, but they didn't. So other things, if you're looking for comfort, uh, I think that the this, the Wander bag is more comfortable to carry around every, on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, the one thing I don't like though is because it's kind of made out of this neoprene material, on a hot day, your backs can get really, really sweaty. And I have, my back got, like, it was just soaking wet when I carried it around. So that was one thing that I did not like about the back, but I like the comfort of it. Uh, they both have waterproof zippers and you know they both don't have like a rain cover or shield that's necessary. Um, well, I mean, this one does, but you know, it's made of this weatherproof material, so I don't really, really need it unless it's super, super downpouring. And then the other thing it comes down to is the camera compartment. So for this bag, I'll show you this bag first. So 
Accessing the camera between the two bags are also completely different. I mean, this one is great if you want to access your one single camera with the lens attached. Quick access, really easy. Well, this one's kind of as easy. You can't access it on the go, really. You'd have to put it down. But look at how the things are laid out and there's a lot of space. So I'm gonna set this down a little bit. So in here, I have an 85mm 1.4L series lens. I have a 24 to 105. I have a 35mm Prime. I have a Canon EOS R. I have a 50mm 1.2, as well as a 16 to 35. And there's still room um, for small, tiny little accessories or a small little lens at the very, very bottom. And this is the camera compartment. This camera compartment, can, you can fit a lot more stuff into this than you can with this, even though they're similar size bags. And it's just the way that they've constructed it and they have this laid out, this one is 20 times better. Not 10, 20 times better. Let me show you. So I'm gonna open up this bag. So yeah, so to access all the gear, you know, a medium sized zipper. To access all the gear on this bag, you're gonna have to open up your entire back panel instead of dip. So what I wanna do is I wanna try and cram whatever I have in here into here. And from my experience, it doesn't really quite fit. So let's start off with the most important thing, which is the camera body. Okay, so your camera body, you can fit it right here, no problem. And also the way the dividers are, they're not very strong, so they kind of fold into themselves. Okay, well, next thing, I'm gonna do a 24 to 105. Okay, I'll shove that maybe right here. And the other thing that's annoying about this is that it's not deep. Like as you can tell, it, the lens comes out you know, a, probably a good inch and a half out from the dividers. Now, if I wanna start cramming more lenses in here, this is where it gets difficult because now that you have this here, there's actually not very much room on the bottom for me to fit this. And if I do cram it, it doesn't really work. I can put it up here, but then, uh, you know, I can't really, it's really difficult for me to fit the other items. Okay, I'm gonna take my 50 mil 1.2 out. I'll try and fit it here, but there's, I could put another padded divider here, which I do have. But it just, it's kind of floppy, as you can tell. Now, I've run out of room. Like, I can put something in here, but I definitely can't fit another lens. I might be able to put a speed light here at the bottom, but that's about it. And as you can tell, it's really, really flimsy. Um, I'm gonna put the padded divider down. There, I put the pad divider down, but just because of the weight of it, it's just uh, it's a, a flimsy piece. You know, they should have reconstructed this uh, camera compartment unit. And so, as you can tell, it's essentially full. I can cram a few small items in there, but that's essentially it. Um, and other than that, like this much space. I mean, the other great thing about the, the Provoke is that you can't. There is room for expandability. You can add more clothes and stack it up and have a roll top to compress it. Um, this one, you have a fair amount of space as well. Uh, maybe not as much as the one to provoke, but you can have enough space. Uh, the other thing that I like more about the Langley is that of their external pockets. So here, I have a water bottle. I mean, that one has a water bottle as well, but it can convert into an actual external pocket. And uh, you can cram a lot of accessories. I can cram my entire hand in here. And here, there's a lot of room for my entire hand, I'm gonna fit both of my hands in there. Tons of external pockets for other accessories. For the Wandered Provoke, <laughs> the only external pocket really is to have this front pocket, but it's really only good for magazines, um, really, really thin items in there. The, it does have another external pocket right here for small things, but you can only fit like maybe your wallet or your phone. And it does have a, a top fabric pouch right here so you can put your sunglasses and other accessories in there as well. On the back, also one of the, the big key things that the Wanna Provoke was advertising was they have this little secret hidden passport pocket so you can you know, hide your things and keep it secure. Well, guess what? Langley also has the exact same thing. They have a security pocket in the back right here. So if you can put your passport and money and things like that. This one does come with removable waist straps which are a little bit more padded than this one. I just don't have them on here. Um, and this one also has removable waist straps but it's just the you know seatbelt material. It just works, it's something simple, nothing too crazy. 
So between the two bags, this one is what I'm choosing. So I'm about 5'8 in height, and this is what the Langley Alpha Globetrotter looks like on me. So yeah, those are the main differences between the two bags. And again, there's no right or wrong answers between which one you choose. I'm just letting you know which ones I prefer and why. And so that's why I really like the Langley Alpha Globetrotter as opposed to the Wander Provoke 31. I'm most likely gonna sell it because I don't see myself needing to use it. If I need it's a bag that could carry more things, I'm gonna probably go up to like the F-stop or another bag similar to that. Uh, I love the look of it, but unfortunately for an everyday bag, this one takes the cake. Um, but yeah, if you need something that has quick access, you can choose the Peak Design backpack if you want. You have this one, there's a Low Pro, there's a Think Tank, there's many different options. Um, but in the end, it's up to you. So anyways, if you like this bag comparison, you want me to do more of these, uh, definitely like and subscribe, and definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31. Thank you so much for watching.